Uh, thank you, Mayor Walsh. Um, as the mayor stressed, we've been working to contain the virus over the last two months, as well as preparing for all city, uh, with all city partners for all scenarios related to its potential spread. It's a multi-agency response, and we also want to thank our state and federal partners uh, for their ongoing efforts uh, to continue to contain it. Let me give you some facts about the current situation. As the mayor mentioned, the city of Boston has three presumptive positive cases of COVID-19 in Boston residents. These cases are now being tested at the CDC for confirmation, which is part of the standard process. It confirmed the number of Boston residents diagnosed with COVID-19 will rise to four. A little bit about these cases. There are two females and one male. All are in their 40s and all are at home self-isolating. Two of them have symptoms and one does not. They were at the meeting referenced by the mayor that was held in Boston last week, hosted by Biogen. They were identified by Biogen as people who had been in close contact with one of the earlier confirmed cases that had been identified. Due to their contact and symptoms, they were tested for the virus and have to have tested positive. We currently, as we speak today and standing here, are tracing who they have been in direct contact with over the last 14 days. In addition, Biogen has identified a private location here in Boston where the meeting took place. Our infectious disease staff is working with that location to mitigate the risk and to work with them on cleaning their facility and contacting and engaging with employees. It is important to note that this is not an example of community transmission as the source of this transmission is known and is connected to a confirmed case of the virus and close contact with that patient. These confirmed cases in Boston will be monitored by public health nurses through the Boston Public Health Commission. They will provide uh, contact tracing and follow-up support for all of the cases. The Infectious Disease Bureau will also work with MDPH, our partners at the state, to identify all the close contacts. As a reminder, a close contact is someone who's had direct face-to-face -face contact within six feet of someone for up to 15 minutes. They've had to have interaction with the presumptive case within 14 days. It's important to note, and a reminder around uh, accurate information, this is not an airborne illness, which is important to remember. You have to have direct contact with an individual to spread it. If someone meets the definition through the close contact work that will be done, public health nurses will provide guidance and recommendation regarding symptom monitoring, social isolation, and to contact their health care provider by phone if they become sick as well as guidance on testing. The city's Infectious Disease Bureau is supporting one of the businesses affected by this, providing education to their workers on symptoms to look for, how COVID-19 is spread, and best practices to protect themselves. 